Here's a really cool integral that has quite an elegant solution that only needs two tools. And those tools are Euler's formula from basic complex analysis, which states that if you have e to the i times t, where i is the imaginary unit, then this equals the cosine of t plus i times the sine of t. And the second tool that we need is the series expansion of the exponential function. So e to the x in the series ex in the uh, series expansion form equals the infinite sum over non-negative integers k of x to the k divided by k factorial. So yeah, these are pretty much the only major tools we need to solve this integral. So let's just get started. We name the integral as i, and the first thing that I want to do is make the numerator look a bit more hospitable. We immediately notice that we have an exponential term as well as a trig term. And it's very easy to go from exponentials to trig functions and vice versa in complex analysis. All you have to do is use Euler's formula. So in this case, because I have this cosine of the sine of x term that I should write in a different color to make it more clear. So because I have this cosine of the sine of x term, this means that I should use e to the i times sine of x. And this cosine term here is the real part of this exponential term. So that means we can write our integral i as the real part of the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the cosine of x and that trig function here is now converted into e to the i times sine x divided by 1 plus x squared integration with respect to x, of course. Now, I can use the properties of the exponential function, and when these two are multiplied, their exponents will add up. So e to the cosine of x plus i times the sine of x divided by 1 plus x squared dx. And immediately we notice we can again apply Euler's formula because this is just e to the i x. So this implies that the integral i is the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the e to the i x divided by 1 plus x squared. So we have an exponential to an exponential. And now we can make use of our second tool, that is the series expansion. So e to the x equals the infinite sum over k of x to the k divided by k factorial. Now what we're going to do here is that we replace the x by this term here, this e to the i x. So that means we have e to the i x here. This is raised to the k, which means the exponents are going to multiply, obviously. So you have e to the i k x. So we had an exponential to an exponential, and now we've converted it into a an infinite sum over exponentials, which is not that bad, to be honest. Infinite sums are pretty cool at times. So the integral, the, uh, we can write i as the integral from 0 to infinity of 1 by 1 plus x squared times the series expansion, uh, which is the uh, sum over k, of e to the i k x divided by k factorial. And because this term here is independent of k, we can slip it into the sum. So we have the integral from 0 to infinity of the infinite sum over k of e to the i k x divided by k factorial uh, times x squared plus 1 integration with respect to x. Now, can we or can we not interchange these two operators? Can we switch up the summation and the integration operators? Well, that depends on convergence. And up here you have uh, an oscillatory function, right? In complex analysis, this is an oscillatory function. And down here, you have k factorial times x squared plus 1. So, yeah, oscillatory over polynomial and factorial, there are no problems whatsoever with convergence. So, 
you can switch up the order of the summation and integration operations. So you have the infinite sum over k of the integrals from 0 to infinity of e to the i k x divided by k factorial times x squared plus 1. And what you can do now is that remind me, you should remind me that I had an RE written here. So yeah, thankfully I have redeemed myself without anyone mentioning it yet. So obviously you can't mention it because I'm the one recording here alone, but still I'm going to flex on my uh, amazing mathematical slash detective skills anyway jokes aside now we had this uh, re this real part uh, notation going on so anyway once we've switched up the operators we now have k factorial in the denominator which is just a constant re with respect to integration right so we have the real part of the infinite sum over k of the integral from 0 to infinity, 1 by k factorial outside, uh, e to the i k x divided by x squared plus 1 dx. Now, what I want to do now is that I want to get rid of this complex number notation. So I'm going to go back into, uh, I'm going to go in the reverse, uh, in the reverse direction from Euler's formula. So the real part of e to the i k x equals the cosine of k x. So replacing this with the cosine of k x, then we get a familiar looking integral here. This, uh, let me just write it in a more um, neat manner. Uh, infinite sum over k, 1 by k factorial. So now what you have, uh, this integral that you have is actually quite familiar. I've evaluated this in the past using Feynman integration or Feynman's technique. And uh, I've also evaluated once using uh, the Laplace transform. So I've provided the link in the description. This is actually quite a beautiful integral that sorts out to pi by 2e to the k. So this implies that our integral uh, that i equals the infinite sum over k of pi by 2 is just a constant, so let's keep it out here. And e to the negative k, if you shift it up in the numerator, divided by k factorial. So your integration problem has now been reduced to a sum problem. So now what? Well, Again, we're going to have to notice something here. Uh, x to the k divided by k factorial summed over k being non-negative integers equals e to the x. And what you have over here, what you have over here in place of x is basically... e to the negative 1, right? So if this is e to the negative 1, and that's what you can replace x by, you have e to the e to the negative 1 or e to the 1 by e, which implies that i equals pi by 2 times e to the 1 by e, which is quite a nice result, if I say so myself. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry for missing out, uh, for missing that or real part thing earlier. But thankfully, uh, I didn't mess things up. And that definitely deserves a like and subscribe. And thank you. See you next time.